Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. Hello everyone. Here I'm looking at the new Wemos D32 Pro version 2. It's a major minor upgrade from the version 1. So what's different? Well, it shares the same ESP32 Vroom module. That's identical. Retains the uh, TF drive connector. TF card, SD card, micro SD card, and the same battery connector. Now adds an I2C connector, VCC ground data and clock, and a TFT connector, which is all your connections for a display, and an updated lower power UART, a CH340C. There's a side view of the module. You can see the four pins of the I2C connector and the SPI TFT connector there. On the back, the pads that were on the previous version for jumpers for power supply have been removed. It's now labelled version 2. It has improved labelling for I2C and SPI. Touchscreen, all the TFT connections, data, uh, digital to analog converters. So in terms of overview then, all of the pins from the previous version are broadly the same. The I2C connector added the SH 10-way connector for TFT displays and a CH340 UART replaces the CP2104. So those pads are referred to in the opening section have been removed. They weren't of any great value. SJ2 enabled the link to GPIO 35 to be broken or not and SJ1 enabled the DC to DC converter so that's battery to 3.3 volt converter to be disabled. I didn't find it of any great value. In terms of connections there's all the external connections that are available. Note the pin orientation of the TFT and I2C connectors so you can easily make your connections via those sockets. This is how you can wire up the I2C bus either directly to the pins or using the connector. Obviously the connector makes for a much neater arrangement. And if you want to connect a TFT display that's how you would make the connections. You can either wire from the pins directly or the same pins on the 10 pin connector using the cables that you can buy make for an easy connection scheme. You could always connect, cut one end of the cable off and wire directly to your TFT display. So it's a good general purpose development board. We've seen in the past it's very low power in sleep mode has adjustable backlighting control via GPIO 32 and touchscreen connections as well via, via GPIO 12. So very versatile. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 